What's going on, baby boys, baby girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another SoSo -so production. We're doing it Monday, June the 13th, 2022. No big deal here out on the streets of Toronto with the good old people of the city. Hope everybody's safe and sound. Thank you very much for joining me today. Longtime viewers and listeners to the show, love you. If you're just joining us today, buckle up, buckle down. It's about to get loose up in here hope all your milk bags are filled to the gills with milk hope all your eggs are spread in multiple baskets 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 could be a thing too but i wanted to say baskets hope you're all spreading it out there whatever it is and i mean joy spread and joy that's what i mean baby we're gonna do an outdoor sesh today because your boy's just been tweaking your boy's been thirsty for that stagey poo time and I'm emailing, but in the meantime, doesn't mean we can't join each other on the stage of life, on the mean streets, on the beautiful streets of Toronto and put on a nice show for, for the gang. Whatever you guys are up to, whatever you gals are up to, I hope you're all doing. I hope you already had a great weekend. I don't know what you guys did, but it was fantastic. There was a UFC event, UFC 275, if I'm not mistaken. Oh man, what an exciting show. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I watched the last four fights of the evening, and it was great. It was great. It was a bloodbath. A lot of belts being uh, removed, a lot of belts being placed. A lot, of, a lot of champs, a lot of new champs, a lot of the, lot of the same old champs, and the champs be killing it. Shout out to the UFC, man. That was great. What else is going on with the gang? Today we're on the streets, not gonna lie to you fam. We'll see if we get a chance to speak with anybody, we'll do that. But if not, it'll just be your boy, Rob Sadri. I'm glad you made it. And where can you find these videos? On Instagram, on YouTube, for the full length videos, please. Excuse me, please go ahead and hit those subscribe buttons. It makes everybody's lives easier. And if you wanna get a little bit of fiscal action going, you wanna support the show because it is independent and we are snowballing. You can head on down to Patreon and don't ever judge a podcast by the so don't ever judge a pod by its size, do you know what I mean? Uh, it's not the size of the pod that matters, it's how you cast it. That's what I've been told. And that's what I'll keep on saying. So go ahead and spread the word, grab the fam, grab the gang, grab your friends, grab some family members, grab a stranger, sit down, stand up, levitate if you have to, gather around. We're gonna have some fun today. But I want to see if I can get a chance, if we may, ask a few questions together. Fun, silly little questions, of course. And what am I talking about? I think, rest in peace, dude. One of the greats, Mitch Hedberg, said it best. Not superstitious, but I'm a little bit stitious. Talking about superstitions today. Talking about black cats crossing the street. Talking about throwing a little bit of that salt over your shoulder. I'm talking, oh, do we feel lucky that we get an itchy palm? Did we, uh, is that a ladder that I see? Should I go ahead and walk under it or should I maneuver around and avoid myself some bad luck? Oh, is that a shiny little mirror? Do I go ahead and break it? Do I dare challenge the gods or do I, you know, do I dare be like, you know what? Seven years of bad juju, bring it on. Are you that kind of fella? Are you that kind of lady? That's what I want to know. That's what I wanted. Is that the 13th floor? Oh, we're just gonna skip it. 11, 12, 14, 13, nowhere to be seen. But that's what I wanna talk about today because we're, here we're all about the, you know, the facts. No wonder why they call your kid the fax machine. Cause I'll just be printing facts, receiving facts, sending out facts or something along those lines. But I wanna know. Are you guys a little bit superstitious? What kind of superstitions do you believe in? Are you the type of fellow or lady that will avoid going out on Friday the 13th? Are you the type of fellow or lady who might knock on wood? Are you, you, you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not. Well, well it, uh, riddle me this then. Have you, ever, have you ever gone like this? Have you ever gone like this, you know? For old time's sake, have you ever gone like this? Just for old time's sake, just like that. Just for a little bit of fingers crossed, good luck. Hope we're all gonna do well. Have you ever done this? You're sick with it. You're sick with the superstitions, and we're gonna put, we're 
we're not gonna nip it in the butt because we like it a little bit. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit stitious myself. I'll, I'll knock on a piece of wood, you don't know me. A little piece of mahogany, dude. Knock, knock, who's there? Good luck, preventative measures. Always gotta think steps ahead, steps uh, prior. Step, step in, you know, you gotta mind your step. Mind the gap. But I wanna know, where does it come from? Uh, not to say that I wanna find out exactly where each individual superstitious belief came from, but I do want to know where do people get stitious? Where is it deriving from? Where, where, what is that emotion that you feel like, oh, I got a knock on a piece of wood. What is that? What is that? And we'll ask. We'll ask people if they want to share their stories. If they be like, oh, I was about to go on a trip then I, you know, I remember to pack some garlic. I remember to, you know, uh, do you have a little OCD? Do you ever, you know, tap your fingers and count like three, five, seven, or something like that? Why do you do it? Why do we do anything? Oh, so many questions. And nowhere ever have you ever heard the deep questions because everybody else is out there scratching the surface, merely scratching the surface. Well, we go in deep. We'll scratch the surface on some days. Um, later we'll get that, you know, we'll get beneath the dermis and we'll go skin deep, baby, because beauty's within. Beauty's within. Uh, don't worry about the things without. You know what I mean? It's control what you can't control. All else will take care of itself. But I'm keen, I'm interested. Where do we find these superstitious beliefs? Why do we have them? Did a little bit of research, not gonna lie to you guys, because that's what I do. When I do some investigative work, I dig deep. And I, and I went on the Googles and I Googled it. I typed some long lines of why are people superstitious? Keep it clear. And it came down to you know, different sources all varying in certainty, but I can tell you this, man. I think deep down inside, people are always asking for a little bit of control, a little bit of, oh, can I control this moment? Ooh, can I know the outcome of this situation? Can I force a little bit of good luck in my direction, avoid the bad luck, avoid the bad juju, if I may, if I can? Things that we say to ourselves, because out there in the real world, on the streets, anything can happen. Trucks can drive by. People can walk on the sidewalk. Uh, mothers pushing strollers. Uh, animals, dogs walking, walking their owners. They, 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 they've got us so twisted up in this game that we think we're walking them, but they're walking us. It's, it's sick, ladies and gentlemen. It's sick and it's twisted, but it's time we turn things around and, you know, uh, take, one, take, one for the, take one for the team. Team humanity, that is. That's you. That's me. None of this Fugazi... Yeah, you know, half bots, half human. None of this humanoid stuff. I'm talking real humans. The humans that bleed blue. The, the humans, wait, the humans that blood runs through the veins and it's coarsen. And if you cut them, it's red. Good, good. Because if it's blue, man, that'd be, whoo, uh, get it checked out. But nonetheless, we're here together. I support you. It doesn't matter which color you're bleeding, whether it's blue, whether it's yellow, whether it's green, as long as you're human, as long as your heart's beating. It's not beating. Amp it up. Let's get it beaten, baby. I want to see you pulsating out there. But I wonder, is it is it a little bit of control? Do we seek that little bit of reassurance every time we step out? We're like, oh, for good luck's sake, I better make sure to turn off the oven before I leave the house. Good for good, you know. What is it with you turning off the oven every time you walk out of the house? Oh, I want to make sure I prevent myself from some bad luck. Don't want to catch myself in the midst of a fire. Do I have home insurance? All the questions that you'd be asking yourselves. Uh, it's good to turn off the oven when you go out. So, you know, some things are a little bit more clear. Others, it's hit or miss. Others are just a little bit of that wishful thinking. But where does it end? Where did it begin? Did, you know, a little part of me wonders. Did we have superstitions before we found religion? Before we found God? Before we found the creator? before we uh, found the, uh, the designer, the creator, the, uh, the big dog upstairs, you know, the multiple dogs upstairs, depending on what you believe. What was it? Was it superstitious before religion or was it religion before superstition? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Good morning. You want a picture, you should get a picture of that guy on the bench. Get a picture of the guy on the bench? Yeah. Oh, maybe. I got a question. I got a question for you. Do you have any superstitious beliefs? Do you none? 
talk to my wife. Talk to your wife? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Have a good day. See ya. See? And that's what it is. You get to the bottom of things by speaking with people, having deep interactions, deep, meaningful 10, 15 second interactions, the ones that really cut through the fluff and get down to the nitty gritty. If you just missed that, because the gentleman, the beautiful gentleman was in the background, maybe you didn't get a picture of him, but he answered when I asked, do you have any superstitious beliefs? He laughed, he chuckled. He said, I speak with my wife and I don't know what to make of that. And a lady out there, if you'd like to know what he means by that, you can go out and watch this video around the 9.30, 9.45 mark, rewind, view the image, see if your husband's up to no good and then have a chit chat with him in the evening. What do you mean by that? what you mean by that when I when I want to talk about super superstitions I speak with my wife and that's he probably didn't mean anything by cut him some slack he's a nice guy but uh, that's what I want to know are you into throwing a little bit of salt are you into crossing the fingers crossing them legs crossing them eyes you know crisscross applesauce that letter X Dotting your ties. No, dotting your T's. No. Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes. God, really fumbled on that one. Oh, well, we caught it. <laughs> Smooth landing. The Russian judges give him a 10. It's a beautiful day out here in the city. I hope it's beautiful wherever you are, whether you're in Antarctica, whether you're in South America, whether you're in Australia, whether you're in New Zealand, we are in Papua New Guinea, maybe you're in Amsterdam, maybe you're in Berlin, maybe you're elbitted in Berlin. I don't know, but wherever you are, I hope you're having a ball. Catch some vitamin D, it's free. It'll just give you that boost of energy that you need to go out there and conquer everything that you need to conquer. But what I'm trying to get to, and eventually we'll get to it, is that reassurance factor why do we seek that out why do we need it why do we need to play Jedi mind tricks on ourselves and a lot of us and it's good I'm not saying don't I'm not saying because I'll tell you man I've again show me a piece of mahogany I'll go knock it give me a little bit of cedar a knock knock we got an event going on all across the finger no worries but the point is that Although it's all right to believe in superstitions, what I'm trying to get to, fam, the deep down point of it all, because here we're all about points, not really. In my book, everybody gets a point. You all start off at 100%. We don't give out points, we deduct points, because we're a bunch of deducers. Some along those lines, but although it's okay to believe in superstitions, I say you reel it in a bit. Reel it in just a tad bit. Start believing in yourself, goddammit. That's right, I'm talking to you, lady. I'm talking to your, uh, your beautiful gentleman with the hairy shoulders that you gotta do a little bit of maintenance in the morning, do a little bit of manscaping. It comes with age, it's only natural. I can't help it. And we'll let it grow some days too, you know, once a week. It's a thing now, it's part of the uh, old grooming sesh. It's, it's, my, it's my life, it's, it's your life. I'm not complaining, but I did want to share that with you. So whatever it is that you're in search of, start believing in yourself. Stop worrying about the, oh, is that a black cat? Do I need to kick the, don't kick the black cats, dude. You know? Oh, I just saw a flock of crows. I'm pretty sure they've got a different name for crows. Like, you know, flock of seagulls, that's for sea eagles. Flock of, what's the thing for the birds? You know what it is, a gang of, a gang of black crows. You're like, man, should probably avoid some stuff today. Maybe bad luck. Anyway. Well, it could be good luck. Yeah. Depends on your outlook. And that's what I'm here to find out. If we can, if we may. We'll get a, we'll get a, we'll get a read of people. We'll see how everybody's reacting. Right now, it's, you know, it's not even noon yet. You can't, you, you know, you come out before noon, you can't expect people to be too reactive. Come out in the afternoon, 
oh, people be all nuclear, people be reactive, people be, you know, just oozing energy. But nonetheless, nonetheless, we are gonna rock and roll. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. People are, that's what it is, it's the age of technology. People are rocking and rolling on them scooters. I tell you, man, I've seen people on just one wheel, one electric wheel, just zooming down Young Street. Those are eager drivers that you guys might hear in the background honking their horns. Uh, it's business time, baby. That man or that lady knows what it is. It's, uh, they're not waiting around uh, for pedestrians. They're not, you know, pedestrians. What is that? Good luck or bad luck? Doesn't matter. He's running them over. Please don't. You know what I mean? But when you got your mind on the prize, when, when money's on your mind and mind's on your money, you'll do about uh, anything, anything. You'll surprise yourself. But is that true though? Is that true? Do we need a little bit of that assurance? Do we need a little bit of that reassurance? Where does it come from? You know? Where'd you get it from? Did you have it innately? Ask yourself, when was the last time you asked yourself, do I have these superstitious beliefs innately? Did they come to me naturally or were they passed down? Generationally speaking, of course. You know? The, the most, most likely you'll find the answer is B. Generationally speaking, it's been handed down. It's been handed down, it's been handed up. It's... Hands are exchanging palms are slipping and sliding somebody's folding neat little 20 in there your day's looking good already you made some money but I want to know what do you guys think and you know with with the age of science with growth with progress of course we've reduced our tendencies to lean towards superstitious beliefs but nonetheless it doesn't mean that it's not existed doesn't mean that we still don't practice certain things just out of the you know just to play a safe player just to be safe player you don't want to be risking it do you risk it next thing you know oh we lost the game oh there goes that promotion you know things happen got to be careful out there but not too careful you got to live your life it's all about that balance In some news that's been going around, I saw a little video. I saw a little video that got me a little bit concerned. Got me a little bit concerned. What am I talking about? I saw a video, maybe about two minutes long, of a fellow Canadian, of our boy, Justin Bieber. Apparently he's got this syndrome. And there seems to be some sort of paralysis in his face. And I saw the video and it didn't make me feel too good. I was like, oh, this doesn't make me feel too good. He's a young man. And Justin is like a Canadian, you know, he's like certain things. He's like a Canadian, you know, symbol of, you know, Canadian, like he's like crown royale. He's like that beaver. He's like the maple leaf. He's like... He's like Tim Hortons, staple of Ken... It's, yeah, he, I think they had just collaborated too. I think he just did his own, he's dropping Tim's merch, Tim's drinks. But, you know, I saw him with the paralysis and it just made me feel like, oh, no, what happened? Walk one, is what I said. My mind went to different places. I did a little bit of searching just to, again, reassure myself that everything's a okay. And you know, that whenever you're in doubt, start searching things on the Googles and on the internets. If you have more doubt, you'll get more doubt. Wait, you'll get, yeah, yeah, that's what you'll get, more doubt. But nonetheless, you'll, you'll discover other people are asking questions. Initially, I saw the videos. I'm like, ah, nah, our boy's got down with the, I don't know, he's, he's uh, what's, what's happening? He's got the paralysis. I know what to make of it. But then you get to the online readings, a little bit of research, people start speculating. 
with facts, I think. You know, half facts, quasi facts. Who's checking facts anyway? Point is, there have been speculations and questions, and we've answered them all in this podcast and this outdoor cast. We got to the bottom of it. We got, all right, we're like, we're at the top, but we're building up, building down. We're building. You know, what What caused, some people say it, well, it's, some people say uh, it's Justin Trudeau that's behind Justin Bieber's face paralysis. Some people speculate online and say that uh, Justin Trudeau had a moment in his mind and his and his day when he was going just last week sometimes like oh this world's not big enough for the two of us talking to Justin in his head and he's like, he must be taken out so you know some say that it's uh, the work of Trudeau I, I, I doubt it his Trudeau is, as, as much as you know he's been a while now he's still he's still our boy too you're still our boy too fam You're out there speculating. You're like, was it, was it too many Justins in a room? No, certainly not the fact. Others have speculated, not me. Others. They've asked questions like, is Justin trying to break away from his? You know, again, not me. People who speak on the internet. Is Justin trying to break away from his MK Ultra programming and get away from his handlers? Justin, blink twice if you're okay. Blink four times if you're not, is what they've asked. Not me, dude. I just don't shoot the messenger, dog. I just I just says what I reads. I reads what I says. I I means what I says. I, I says what I means. Half the time. But I'm I'm thinking, what is it? Some others have speculated, is it a bot? Is it a hologram? No, it's real. I don't know. It may be a hologram. It may be, may be a bot. I don't know these days. It's really hard to tell. Others speculated, they're like, could it be a adverse reaction to the vaccines if he got the vaccines? I don't know. Did he get the vaccines? Did he not get the vaccines? Is it an adverse reaction? Do we, how many more celebrities do we have to lose to this, you know? But the internet asks questions and uh, we like to certainly support the asking the questions. And we love Justin, both of them. And I gotta remember, if, if I can change, everybody can change, man. That's what it is. But yeah, dudes, ladies, we hope that Beep Z recovers quick. And any see sometimes when you're doing that outdoor sesh, you gotta be careful, you gotta be mindful of the big selfish trucks with the loud vehicles and the loud noises. That's what it, I gotta time these, but nonetheless, what was I trying to say? Point is uh, that yeah, wishing Justin recovers. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. For anybody who, if any, if you're upset at this young man not being able to perform because he's got that paralysis in his face, you cut him some slack, goddammit. It's been performing since I was a teenager. And I'm a few old, I'm a few years older than he is, so he's been performing for a long time. Give him a little bit of rest time. Let him ease into it. Let him get his, you know, facial movements and stuff back. And then he'll be singing again. Hopefully. And no, to answer your question, I don't think there are too many Justins in the world. There's plenty of room for enough Justins, Justin. All right? So do you, you just tell your goons to back off other Justin. You're welcome, everybody. But that, yeah, it got me a little bit, because he's a young man and he's got means and access to resources you know players like that ain't supposed to be going out in the end you know it's the and it's just concerning and obviously we hope he doesn't go out i don't think he will not because of this you got this justin you hang in there tiger fucking slap that whatever it is whatever it is you just slap it backhanded you got this give yourself a little bit of time drink a little bit of uh green tea sprinkle a little bit of lime 
uh, maybe a teaspoon of uh, honey in there. You know? Is it science? Is it an old wives tale? Is it superstition? I don't know, but it tends to work whenever I'm feeling a little bit blue. And you're like, yeah, this is far more severe than just feeling a little bit blue. Feeling red, dude. Feeling purple, all the colors. Whatever you're feeling, I hope you feel good soon. And for everybody else, back up off of his grill. Back up off of his grill. He'll be back, he'll do another show. Relax, give him a minute. God damn. Anyway, point is, we do things. Sometimes, again, you know, we, we jump to conclusions. We make hasty decisions. Do I get it? Do I not get it? Do I proceed? Do I not proceed? You know? Should I seek the guidance of a little voodoo magician? A little, you know, should I go ahead and, you know, see a palm reader? Don't. Don't waste your money. They don't know anything. 99.9% .9 of don't know anything. 99.99999% of them don't know anything. But you're again, you're looking for that answer. And the answer I'm telling you, man, ladies, it's within you. It's within you. Instead of trying to look on the outside, you're like, man, broken mirror, I'm not gonna walk outside. Avoiding ladders. Why, fam? How many opportunities did you miss because you didn't want to walk under a ladder? How many job opportunities did you lose out to, you know, because it's like, it's the butterfly effect, right? You see a little crack in the pavement, you're like, better not step on the crack, you know? It's better not step on that crack one second, missed opportunity the next. And I say you avoid it. You avoid all this mumbo jumbo. You, you stop, uh, you know, maybe practice with a little bit of, uh, just reduce it a little bit if you're out there just like, oh. Or maybe you're revolving all around superstitions and it's working really well for you. I don't know if it's working really well. Why fix it if it ain't broke? Keep on being superstitious. And you know, tell me a couple of good ones. I don't know too many other ones. I gotta look into this more. But is it that, is it, do we want that little bit of reassurance that everything's gonna be a-okay? That I'm in control of this situation? I'm gonna to try to wield my power somehow to afford myself a little bit of that good luck charm. Speaking of good luck charms, they're after me lucky charms right now. Almost on a daily. You're gonna to have to fight me for it. You're not gonna get it off me like that. But uh, when it comes to good luck charms, do you have one? Do you hold a little rabbit's foot in your pocket? Do you got a lucky four leaf clover? Just, you tucked it in there. You tucked it in there in your brassiere, in your, in your bra. And it's in there, it's in your jock strap, dude. You know? Why do you do it? Because you're sick with it. You're ill with it, son. Quit it. Quit, but still, again, if it's working, keep going, because we can't, we can't afford to lose the series, dog. We can't afford to lose the series, man. It's the final, it's the final inning of the series, and it's the seventh game final buzzer shot. Oh man! You want to putt? You want? You want to? You want to make that? You want to get that? You want to get all the holes? You want to make it a clear? You want to make a clear swing with the old golf club and get a hole? I don't know the numbers with golfing. You know, you want to get a clear? You want to get a 70? Is that good? 70 is good, that's what you want. You want to clear 70 game. 80 game, 90 games. We're playing bowling. 100. You're, you're 100. You, you just scored 100. Is that good? Why? You, you cross them fingers. You know? Did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And it also pays off. So, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to just throw out the whole babies with the whole entire bath waters. Some babies, no bueno. Kick them, chuck them. Other babies, you've done the assessment. They're okay, they're decent. They can chill with the fam. They're coming into their own. Keep those ones. 
other times, if they're not on par with what this gang is all about, if they don't want to be a part of Syndicate, you just abort that baby. Late abortions. 18 years of age, that's what I say. Still, you can abort it. It's your kid. I don't make the rules. I barely even follow them. But what are rules? You rule. That's what it is. But I wonder. I wonder, did it come before religious perspectives and beliefs? Did it come after? You know? Are we still developing new ones? I've not heard of a new... That's the thing. Most superstitions are old. You don't hear of new ones. What's a new one? You know? Let's make one together, fam. Let's make one together. It's a beautiful day out here in Toronto. Like I said, your boy's thirsty for that stage time. I've been emailing requests. And so if you're out there watching, uh, please respond to the email requests. Let me come on the stagey poop. Let me get that five minute stretch. Let me do my performance. Let me do my dance. Cause I, I got ants in the pan. I gotta do it. I can't help it. It's got to be done. It is really nice and warm outside. Things are heating up. People are all excited. I can see it in their faces. I can read their vibes. More or less. You know? Different variables. Let's see if we can find some folks who would like to speak with us. If it's a thing. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Long time viewers and listeners of the show. They're supportive. They're like silent partners. Not all partners are uh, vocal. You know, they just walk and give you the nod. They're like, we support it. They said it. You, you don't have to believe me. Again, I, I could read it in their face. The vibe, it was, it was there, it was clear. The smiles were there. I saw the smiles. That's why I went in for it. Don't think that I, you know, I'm not going to go in there just asking, hey, ladies, uh, without a smile. If I see a smile, I'm going to be like, hey, ladies. If it's just no smile, it's just like, or a frown, dude. I'm not saying, hey, ladies, you know, but see a little bit of smile. I'm going to put it out there. We're, we're trying to put it in here. And it takes every one of us. You're like, how do I start to be a little bit more selfless? How do I become part of the community? It, st it starts right here. It starts right here and goes all around, everywhere. Support all these businesses. This one included too. It's a cast. I know it's not a business, but you're like, oh, what's your overhead? No overhead, but still, it's business time. Maybe those ladies were highly superstitious. Maybe they're like, man, we don't believe in three people, three people conversing in one conversation. We don't believe in that. If it was just the two of us, we can handle our even numbers, but you get three people in there, all of a sudden they start losing their minds. You don't know. People uh, are unpredictable. Okay, they're, they're predictable. To a certain degree, I mean, you just look at the marketing and advertising, they figure it out how predictable we are. Who's they? You know, marketing people, PR people, advertising, sales, so, so, so sales, those people. Sigmund Freud's nephew, Edward Bernays, that, that guy, he knew what he was talking about. Forget about that, but also don't keep it in there. It's good to know certain things. Point is, that you you can't you know those ladies were probably on on a mission and I and I support that I support 100% that's that go get that's that Torontonian go getter attitude I'm in my mid 60s go getter attitude nothing slowing me down unless it's my slow pace I slow myself down that's what they because they're in their golden years now 
but that doesn't mean that they're not relentless that doesn't mean that they're not after it. that doesn't mean that they're not going to be uh, going after life those ladies oh if those ladies could talk we'd, we'd sure be happy if they did but for the time being it's just going to be all pure speculation i'm going to go ahead and make a story those ladies were two grandmas two grandmas um and they were outside and you're like no dude they were clearly lesbians no they're not dude just because you see two lesbians or two ladies that doesn't mean they're lesbians you know just because you see a couple of guys doesn't mean anything it could just be two grandmas doesn't always have to be you know about this that and the other i want to go ahead and say no those are two hetero grandmas doing hetero grandma activity but then again i may be completely naive i i don't know i may be completely naive that that those two those two grandmas could have easily been into god knows all sorts of bdsm who knows i don't want to speculate you said it i was thinking it not really but it's a thing yeah you've seen people oh eight billion of us so many things are going on who knows what people's interests are these days anyway but as long as you're focused as long as you're not you know losing your attention to oh do i need to watch out is that again a black cat walking over do i need to cross my fingers do i need to you know do i walk under a bridge yeah i don't think that's one i think you're good with the, the bridge is clear there's nobody on the bridge it's just you on the bridge get off the bridge dude. what are you doing on the bridge really late at night it's 11 o'clock go home be with your family stop it you know? And we, and we don't just go ahead and entertain here. We save lives. We, we've lost a few too. We've lost. We, we try. We try. You know, we can't save everybody. So we try. But the entertainment aspect, my God, is it up there. One of the biggest podcasts in the multiverse. Again, don't let the numbers fool you. Because, man, you start paying attention to the numbers, they can deceive you. They could be all liars, be numbers, be liars. You know what doesn't lie? Those hips, fella. Those hips, ladies, they don't lie. You and I don't. We're all about the facts. We know what it is. Numbers are numbers. I, for one, have had enough of number up, up to here. Here? Wherever the, you know, wherever the maximum threshold is, like up here. All the way to the top. Though. We're, we're, water's just oh above our neck now. We're drowning. But no, we're not. Because you know why? We're avid swimmers. Or at least we used to be. We still remember a few skills that's in there. You know. Time comes. Push comes to shove. You put me in the water, dude. I'll get... I'll start floating, dude. You don't know me. I'll get on my back. I'll start floating. You know? Uh, you put me in water. I'll bring in the salt, dude. I, I control the buoyancy of this water you're like you're gonna drown not with this amount of salt baby not with this amount of salt you know how jesus walked on water salt i think either that or some pulleys and levers or you know fishing rope you know that translucent fishing rope anybody look into that Someone's listening to their beats and jams. I don't know what they're listening to, but we're gonna just bob our head because that's the kind of fam we are. We do things. Hi there, good morning. Good morning. The buds were in her ear. The buds were in her ear. And again, another big time supporter of the show. I've, as a matter of fact, this is all built in to the outsider. I might just be like, man, they're not into it. No, she had things in her ears and she's doing her, I, told her beforehand i'm like hi there and then whenever i say hi there you just walk on by again it's the old smiley face that throws your boy off i see a smiley face i can't help it i gotta be like hi there but you know don't you know you got a couple of no's the next one's gonna be a yes you got a couple of you know you got a couple of no's after that it's uh, there's a yes in there somewhere there's a yes in there somewhere 
I, I feel it. You feel it too. Everybody's feeling great. I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. Man. Again, maybe she too had her preconceived notions of what this, you know, maybe she was a little bit hesitant. Maybe she was a little bit superstitious. Maybe she's on her way to work. She's like, I can't be deterred and distracted by this wonderful podcast. Because this podcast, you get involved in it, baby. You can't. This is a, it's like a, there's a gravitational pull or something to it. You get sucked in. Who knows how long you're going to be here? 45 minutes to an hour. That's how long. Every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You're welcome. Man. So instead of relying on old superstitions, instead of relying on, uh, you know, get, get your facts straight. Get your facts straight. Also, you know, if it works, you know, if it works, keep putting it out there, man. I'm not trying to help, like, you, you live your life the way you want to live your life. I'm not trying to be all up in your grill telling you, oh, don't practice superstitious practices. You know, you're good with the black cats. Let's go, baby. Put it, you know, put in a mail-in order. Let's go with the, let's get everybody a black cat. Have you had abundance of good luck because of your black cat? Well, the more the merrier. Let's get more black cats. I want every single household filled with black cats to the gills. Uh, and that's the cats. That's the cats meow, baby. That's meow 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 mix all day. You know. Oh, beautiful puppies. They're very cute. Very cute. He got it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we just saw two beautiful puppies in the videos. That's what we do around here. We work with animals. We make people smile. We encourage people to do sports activities like skateboarding. Get out on your skateboard. Supporting everybody. God damn it. The city's on my back and this back is not tired surprisingly not tired at all you're like how do you do with all the weight on the shoulders big shoulders that's how you know shoulder press that's what it does i can't help it i can't help it i love you all thank you for joining me each and every week we're all we're getting close to two years now and the journey is just beginning this is a this is that, you know, this isn't that, you know, I like my coffee instant, but this is that, you know, traditional, slowly brewed brew of drinks, whether you're talking, whether we're talking whiskey right now, whether we're talking coffee right now, whether we're talking absinthe, whatever it is, this shit's old. This shit's going to take time and we're, we're going to age it. We're going to age together. Nothing ages well, like, you know, wine. And I wanted to say people, but that is a little bit, you know, it's counterintuitive because people don't age well. Uh, but we do, but we do, you know, we do and we don't. We do and we don't. And the point is that we do and we don't. But we, we age here. We're like aged cheese. Ooh, what is that? It smells disgusting, but it tastes delicious, you know? Before you knock it, try it. And then go ahead. Like I said, you like the videos, you wanna get involved, you're like, how do I get involved? On Instagram, you follow your boy if you like. These videos resonate with you. If I've started to grow inside your heart, like a tumor, like a, if I'm like, if I'm growing inside, if, I, if I'm like a cyst in your, in your, you know, nether regions, let it grow, but also see a doctor. If it's, if it's hurting you, it's been months, lady. Go get a doctor checked out. They can do, they can remove it. It's literally, it's, it can be removed. But guess what's not gonna be removed? You and I. Because you know what's permanent? Nothing's more permanent than the stuff that gets made and put out there on the internet. If, if one thing we've learned over the past two years is that everywhere is, you know, safety within numbers. And that's why we're growing. That's why we decided to say no to uh, 
we're expanding. That's all I got to say. We're expanding. The numbers are coming in one at a time, like, like purified water, like uh, beautiful droplets. And together you're like, what, what do drops do? What do drops don't do? Oh, I don't know. They crack through rocks. Oh, I don't know. They form a river. Oh, I don't know. The river flows into a sea or a lake. Oh, I don't know. The lake's got an opening to the ocean. Oh, what do we do? We're, we're swimming, baby. We're swimming. And we're using all our faculties, every muscle in there, every, you know, I'll bring in a little, I'll bring in a little uh, yellow duck, baby. Bring in a bath bomb. Little little rubber duck. Now we're floating. You know? So that's what we do around here. Love you, gang. Thank you very much for all the love and support. And again, if you're out there living life and you got a little bit of superstition built up somewhere, knock it. Knock it down. Start believing in yourself. You know what? Forget the ladders. Forget the, you know, run with scissors, dude. It's, it's all a myth. When, when was the last time you saw somebody get hurt with running scissors? It's... Fake news, that's what I say, dude. That's what I say. But also, if you're gonna be running with scissors, make sure that like the, you know, the ones that they give out in the kindergarten, the one that's like round and barely, the one that's like plastic, run with that. Don't go out there getting the sharpest blade scissors out there and just running wild. If you've got no practice, I don't want you to hurt yourself and the next thing you know, you're on your way to becoming the most famous running with scissors runner out there in the world are coming to make records and movies about your life but in the process you wanted to you were that eager beaver you jumped the gun you ran a little bit too fast you flew a little bit too close to the sun you wanted to become the sun you're like man i want to shine bright what's up with the sun always shining i'll give it this chance it's like it's it's your time now it's your time don't let anything get in your way if anything should get in your way ask them to move politely and if if, if they're Resistant. Move around them. Move around, move over them. Step over them. No, don't step over them, but you know what I mean. Get to your destination. Get to your final destination. No, not your final destination. Get to the destination that you want to be at. And you know how we do that? By taking the tiniest of steps. Every day. Coming in here and taking steps, baby. One step forward, two steps back, making progress. Glad you made it. It's been another so so production. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. I hope. You all recover from whatever you're recovering from. And if you've already recovered, keep marching forward, baby. And if you're practicing that superstitious practice on the side, if it's your side gig, you're reading palms. You're looking into, you know, you're looking into a crystal ball. You're reading a tarot card. You're practicing all sorts of wizardry and sorcery. I, you know, if it's not going in a negative direction, I'm not knocking it. If it's working for you, keep pumping it out. If it's not, it's good to ask questions. I love you, gang. I'll be back here again on Wednesday. Spread the word. In the meantime, have fun. I'll see y'all very soon. Peace out.